this video is an update on the bioactive tree frog enclosure seven months later and this video was filmed in january so i'm a little late to posting it because of everything that was happening um but yeah this was a part of the big 2023 update video which i actually just um, divided into multiple videos so that's why it might be a little bit out of context but anyways enjoy the video okay so next we're gonna do a little bit of maintenance on this tank this is an update from seven months ago i'm pretty sure as you can see same spider war in here and it's also overtaken the tank Every time I open this enclosure, the plants fall out on me, so we can just trim them up a little bit. And if you haven't seen the video for when I set up this bioactive enclosure for my tree frogs, go watch that right now. So basically, I'm just going to trim the plants up a little bit, clean out the water, and wipe off the glass. And then I think it is time to feed these guys. Even though they are nocturnal, so they might not eat until night. But this guy, he seems wide awake. I did switch them over to small crickets. And they have been chowing down on those. And they are getting a little bit bigger. At nighttime, they're always hanging around this water bowl and searching for food. Isn't that right, buddy? So let's get to it. Hopefully none of the frogs are actually on these, hiding on these plants that I'm trimming. I'll just have to be careful. Oh, I don't know if you saw that, but one of them was hiding. Yep, he's climbing up there. Why are you awake, buddy? It's daytime. These are hourglass tree frogs, by the way. What do you think you're doing? I need this one. Go that way. And we're still adding to our collection here. This tank has grown in pretty nicely. It's just kind of small for this. These big spider wart. But that's why we need to trim them. So I have spider wart in here. I have a pothos back here. That's doing pretty good, too. And then I have a little tiny peperomia, which I think, I don't know, it's doing all right. It's kind of growing. But yeah, just need to trim up this spider wart a little bit. And trust me, it will grow back quickly. It's like a maze, look at this. It's like, look at how long this thing is, dude. It's just getting all scrunched up in there. Oh, I found another frog. Perfect little sleeping spot right here. Okay, I think this is good enough, actually. We'll still have some room to grow. At least I can actually see in here now and get access to the water bowl a little bit better. But yeah, that's, that's what it's looking like now. Okay, I should leave these guys alone, so let's hurry up and finish up here. I'm just gonna clear out the water bowl, give them some fresh water, spray the tank down a little bit, and then clean off the glass again. So, let's get to it. I'm gonna wipe off the glass and then we can throw some crickets in there too. Okay, I got the crickets here and I was planning on getting a little bit of a bigger cricket cage here for the small crickets. But let's, let's feed these guys. 
got the crickets dusted. Okay, those guys will enjoy their food later when they're out and awake. Before we move on to the next pets, I do have some bad news about these um, hourglass tree frogs. I did not want to mention it earlier because I didn't want to believe it. I don't know, it's really strange. A couple months ago, I noticed, hey, why is there only three frogs in here? You know, like, I only saw three frogs and I didn't think much of it until like every night I looked in there and I only saw three. And I only saw three and I only saw three. And as you know, I got four actually. After like a couple weeks, I could not, I couldn't um, see the frog in there, the fourth frog. <laughs> it really freaked me out because I was like, oh my gosh, no. And then I looked in the tank. I looked in the tank like over and over and I, I could, just could not find him. So, and to this day, I, I have not found him. So I have no idea what happened to him. I have a couple theories. Um, maybe he escaped somehow because I know that there is like a little hole up here that that was open for like cords to put in and I, I never knew that feature of the tank. So either he escaped or something happened like he wasn't eating enough or something because I think that might have been the one that was a little smaller than the others but I'm not too sure. And I feel really bad about it because I kind of feel like it's my fault but like he kind of just disappeared. I just wanted to be honest and let you guys know because, man, that's that breaks my heart, man. And it really sucks. But I, at least I still get to enjoy these guys. These guys are, are doing good now. And I'm glad I switched them to crickets so they can get beefed up and get the right nutrition that they need. And hopefully they're all healthy. It's rough losing pets, you know, especially when you don't even know if it was your fault or not. And or even what happened but anyway let's move on thanks for watching the video and i'll see you in the next one